Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video, doing the EC30 day look here for today's first video. So as always on Tuesday, we've got your uh, extended European outlook. And I should get on with that for you in a moment, just to say there was no 6M forecast today. I had last night, after having a nice meal out, your friend Jack, uh, but I will be having a 6 a.m. forecast up for you tomorrow at 6 a.m. So, uh, 6 a.m. forecast will be back tomorrow. Right. 10 to 14 day with all our break features coming later on today as well. And if that wasn't enough, there's going to be another Christmas update too. So, uh, another epic day of content minus a 6 a.m. forecast. So, please like, share, subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. Right, let's start off with the uh, situation uh, for this week, then, across Europe. This has been mean seal pressure anomaly from the 11th to the 18th of December. Here we go, Ben. Uh, low pressure will be dominating up towards Greenland and Iceland. And high pressure is out in the Atlantic, bridging into western parts of Europe. There's a trough of low pressure over on the eastern side of Europe as well. Jet stream is uh, going to be up here. So this trough of low pressure will probably bring coldest of the weather down to the eastern side of Europe. Relatively mild conditions coming in off the Atlantic into the west and the north of Europe. 500 millibar height to look so like that. Below average heights across Greenland and Iceland. Deep trough of low pressure above average heights in the Atlantic into western parts of Europe and down to Spain and Portugal as well. And a trough of low pressure over in the east side of Europe. Jet stream will be doing something a little bit like that. So the mildest, driest weather will be across the western Europe, close to the ridge. And of course, it'll be colder and more unsettled in the east and the northeast of Europe. We see this on the temperature anomaly. Coldest uh, anomalies to average are up across the far north of Europe, through Scandinavia into uh, some Nordic regions as well. Elsewhere, above average temperatures. So, what we see uh, a warm temperature anomaly here, particularly through um, the low countries, Belgium, the Netherlands, into Germany and into France as well. Some places go to three, six degrees above average. More widely, we see temperature at levels of one to three degrees uh, above average. So, a very mild scene across many parts of uh, Europe in the weekend, and particularly focus on these western regions. Down into the Mediterranean, above average temperatures through there as well. As I said, it's colder than average though in the far north of Europe, but that's the exception to the rule. And as far as precipitation goes for Europe for this week, well, regional variation. So generally it's wettest though over on the eastern side of Europe. So again through um, Germany, Poland, back to the Baltic Sea states into western Russia as well and down towards Black Sea above average precipitation uh, through there. Into western parts of Europe, we see uh, a mixed bag. So, Ireland and southern southwest parts of England, Wales, for example, um, drive an average, but Scotland, eastern England, wetter than average. We see driving average conditions into northern parts of France, but going further south, into um, the body of France, above average precipitation there, and up into Germany and so um, Poland, some above average rainfall through there too. As far as precipitation goes, though, it's drier than average through central and western parts of the uh, Mediterranean here. So uh, Spain, Portugal, in central part there, back to Italy, driving average conditions there. And then over towards Greece and Turkey, a mixed bag. Some areas a little bit drier, some areas are a little bit wetter than uh, normal as well. So, as I said, a lot of regional variation going on. Into week two, which should be 18th to 25th of December. Not much change, really, uh, up to Christmas Day. High pressure continues to sit in the Atlantic into western parts of Europe. The low pressure is to the north from um, Greenland, Iceland, into towards Scandinavia. Jet stream is up here as well. So, so high pressure reaching through many parts of Europe, more unsettled up in the northern part of Europe, the 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that, with uh, again below average heights, low pressure in the North Atlantic from Green Iceland up towards Scandinavia. Higher pressure is through the uh, through Europe into the Atlantic. The jet stream is up here as well. So again, much of Europe dominated by a ridge of high pressure. Temperature anomalies look like that, uh, above average in many places. So again, we see above average rainfall from Ireland and the UK. 
in the west, right way over to the western parts of Russia in the east. We have uh, a much wider scene for Scandinavia, actually, and through the Nordic regions and into east parts of Europe as well. Again, temperature always like three degrees above average. Ireland, UK, low countries, France, around one to three degrees above average for rainfall down there. Into the Mediterranean, well, it's a cooler scene down there, actually. So we've got Spain and Portugal coming out with below average temperatures. We also have the central bowl of the bay coming out average to slightly cooler than average as well and over into the uh, eastern side of the bed uh, around Greece again slightly cooler than average temperature noise through there so north south split a little bit topsy-turvy northern regions tend to be warmer than southern regions interestingly and somewhat unusually I suspect and as far as precipitation is concerned for week two it looks like this so it's wetter an average in the far north and northwest, so through Ireland, Scotland, and into Scandinavia, you see above average precipitation be there. Otherwise, largely drier than average across uh, most parts of uh, Europe. So, drier than average through France, Spain, Portugal, into the central bowl of bed, over the age, actually into the Balkans, a little bit drier than average through there. And going further north, once again, it's rather on the drier side as we head over towards uh, the Black Sea uh, as well, a little bit north of that, near normal precipitation through uh, the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia and uh, Lithuania. Of course, even there, even with the uh, above average temperature dollars, um, that is likely to be wintry in some places. And um, again, we see that out to the northwest of the North Atlantic, particularly around Iceland, into the Norwegian Sea, above average precipitation as that comes into northern parts of Scandinavia and Nordic regions, despite the fact that temperature normally is above average, some of that could well be delivering snow. Even if temperature normally in northern Norway and Sweden is like four or five degrees above average, still probably going to be cold enough for widespread snow. Uh, week three will be Christmas Day to New Year's Day, 25th of December to 1st of January. So um, then we find low pressure again in the North Atlantic into northern western parts of Europe. High pressure de is down into southern parts of Europe. The jet stream is coming through on a westerly flow. A little bit like that. The 500 millibar heights showing below average heights in the North Atlantic into Northern Europe, above average heights down to our south as well. Winds coming in from a westerly uh, direction on a westerly flow. Um, temperature novels are above average in most places, above average temperatures like from Ireland, the UK, um, and Portugal in the far west, all the way over to Black Sea in the east. The core of the above average temperatures is through Germany and Poland, where again we see three six degrees above average. You're going up to the very, very far north of uh, Scandinavia and, and Nordic regions to see near normal temperature anomalies. But again, even there, not cold. You've got to go to Iceland and Greenland to find anything colder than average. As far as precipitation is concerned, it's wetter than average across much of northern and also uh, west. Western Europe as well. Oh, uh, a proper unsettled week there as we go from Christmas to New Year across much of uh, across much of Europe actually. So from Ireland and UK West right way over to Western Russia in the east. Down into the bed, not really too bad there for Christmas. Dry but average, particularly for the central bowl of the bed. So the Valley Arikine, of course, because Sardinia. Um, I reckon, you know, with pretty uh, pretty uh, warm temperatures and dry average conditions, that would be reasonably nice areas to go if you want a little bit of Christmas sunshine there. And then week four takes us to the 1st of the 8th of January, and we see that it's very unsettled across northern, eastern and northeastern parts of Europe with a deep trough of low pressure. And uh, that could bring uh, perhaps some slightly colder air into the west of Europe and the north of Europe, actually. So that trough is transferring a little bit more towards the Baltic Sea, west parts of Russia. But it's a large trough that comes covering many parts of, uh, of Europe there. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that, with below average heights across much of northern and also west Europe as well. High pressure down towards Spain and Portugal, just a little bit of a suggestion of a ridge out in the Atlantic. And again, the jet stream and wind flow coming in on more of a northwest, southeast uh, trajectory there. Temperature anomaly looks like that. So, uh, turning cold and average again in the far north. So, cold and average in green ice and through Norwegian Sea into Scandinavia and the Nordic regions. Otherwise, above average temperatures. 
in most places, especially over on the eastern side of Europe. So um, Germany, Poland, towards Ukraine and Black Sea, are going to have above average temperature there by about three to six degrees. Um, and above average in the west of Europe as well, though. So maybe it cools down slightly through western parts of Europe, but still largely above average in both places. So a pretty mild scene again for week four. Right, that's your 30 days. Okay, done. But let's go for weeks five and six data before we go. So week five will be the 8th to the 15th of January. With below average heights across eastern parts of Europe. Could there be some sort of a ridge getting going across uh, in the Atlantic? Put in a couple of question marks. It's possible that's what's forcing this trough of low pressure over to the east. The 500 millibar heights, again, perhaps hinting at a little bit of a mid-Atlantic ridge here in the Atlantic going for some parts green with a trough of low over on the east side of Europe. Again, the wind coming in from a bit of a northwesterly type direction. The temperature anomaly is uh, largely on the cooler than average side across the northern parts of Europe. However, most parts of Europe, again, looking largely above average with the temperature anomaly um, there. And um, far as far as precipitation goes, so again, we just see um, largely West average conditions really across much of northern Europe, all the way from France, UK in West, right way over to West Russia in the East. It's a little bit driving average in the North Atlantic and towards uh, northern parts of Scandinavia. As well, and then lastly, week six will be the 15th, 22nd of January. So, a bit of a suggestion some high pressure around Greenland, then low pressure across northern east parts of Europe. Winds coming in perhaps from a northerly direction. So progressing through January, I think these charts are shifting towards something possibly a little bit colder for northern and western parts of uh, Europe. Here, the uh, week six 500 millibar height anomaly again. Would be above average heights in the Atlantic, below average heights across northern Europe. Again, winds could be coming in from like a northerly or a northeasterly direction. The temperature anomaly, um, largely colder than average across uh, northern Europe, but a little bit of a cool down going on through these more western parts of Europe as well. So the temperature begins to lower just a little bit through western parts of Europe. Over on the eastern side of Europe, though, um, there it's slightly above average with the temperature anomaly. And finally, for precipitation, looks like that. So dry of an average in the North Atlantic to west of the UK, west of an average, or well, hinted to be a west average anyway, across many parts of Europe. So that might be wintry, of course, as the trough shifts eastwards and we pull down most northerly winds. Right, that's it for, you, for your XA European out for this week. They're ready for a beyond five, seven days. Comes with big health warnings and large pinches of start attacks. So just a snapshot, what buddy show. We'll look at it again on Saturday um, when we will be doing the UK and Ireland focus uh, with this uh, model. And then there'll be another European outlook, of course, next Tuesday. We're going to be back later. If you enjoy the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for doing that. We're going to be, we're going to be back later on with b Ted Sporting Day and the latest Christmas update. Keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, though, that's for now, and thanks for watching.